If you're a developer on the hunt for the best framework, you need to stick around for this. First up, let's talk component architecture and state management. Electron.js uses a web-based approach, making it a breeze for web developers. Qt, on the other hand, offers robust native components, giving you that snappy, responsive feel. Now, performance and rendering speed. Electron.js is fast, but being web-based, it can get a bit chunky. Qt is like a sports car in comparison. Lean and mean, optimized for performance. Learning curve. Electron.js is super approachable if you're already familiar with web tech. Qt has a steeper climb, but once you're in, it's like having a Swiss army knife. Community support and ecosystem. Electron.js has a massive, vibrant community. Tons of plugins and libraries. Qt's community is smaller but fiercely dedicated. Finally, suitability for large-scale applications. Electron.js can handle it, but Qt shines with enterprise-level apps thanks to its stability and performance. So, which reigns supreme? It totally depends on your needs. Tell us your choice in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights.